Hello, today I'm going to show you our TC101 GPS vehicle tracker. This tracker needs to be uh, hardwired, hardwired on uh, a vehicle. So when you open the box, you're going to find the GPS tracker and uh, its wiring, a microphone and some other cool accessories. Now, uh, as I said, this GPS tracker needs to be hardwired on a vehicle, so it requires some knowledge. I'm going to try to show you the easiest and simplest way to connect it. Now, <clears throat> this connector here will connect to uh, the wire connector harness here. Okay, now I'm going to unplug it from here so I can show you uh, actually uh, what you need to do with the three wires you're going to get left. Actually these are the three main wires that are needed for the GPS tracker to operate. So for people with uh, limited knowledge uh, will be much easier for it to be installed. Now obviously you have the black wire which is the ground wire. This needs to go on uh, any metal surface of the car which is a ground. And this one here, the red wire, is the live wire that needs to be connected on a continuous 12-volt uh, power supply. And this here, the white wire, is the ACC on uh, wire or ignition on wire, which means it will give a signal to the GPS tracker that the ignition of the car is on so it will power on the GPS tracker and it will send its coordinates every 30 seconds instead of 30 minutes when the car, when the car is powered off. Uh, an easy way and a suggestion I have for you uh, for installation is if you remove the car stereo usually behind the car stereo you're going to find all the wires you need because the three basic wires that the car stereo requires are already there for most vehicles. Um, this is the back side of the tracker. It has a, a small diagram here that can help you uh, determine the correct wire connection. And also, also will show you the other uh, accessories that you can connect on the device, which is an external microphone and uh, when you call the device from another phone number from your mobile phone for example the device will answer it and you can hear uh, any conversations going on in the vehicle and also there is a, a panic button that you can connect so the the driver of the vehicle can press it and it will sms and call in the, the specific preset phone numbers that you have set on the GPS tracker. In the front of it you can see three different LEDs. The first one will show you the GPS uh, signal in uh, blue. The middle one is um, on the power LED and the last one will be the GSM signal uh, LED. Uh, this uh, tracker has an internal battery so in case there is um, power failure of uh, the the car battery, it will power itself for some time. On the side, you can slide this slot open, you will find uh, where the SIM card goes and also there is an on-off switch. So once you have inserted the SIM card in there, you will need to power on the device and then connect it to the, the vehicle power. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you.